Hi, I'm Krista McCoy with Global Fashionistas coming to you today from London. And we are in Shepherd's Bush at Global Sports. We're gonna go in and go ahead and take a look inside, see what's going on, and uh, maybe meet some cool people. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen Volkoy here with Global Fashionistas, and I am with Gray, and you have Black Amore clothing. And we are so excited to see you today. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh my God, I'm so. Ugh, <sighs> I love London. It. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you. You love you here. This is um, like a, a sort of a celebrity outspot um, where people come and buy different stuff. So people like Chris Brown uh, come here, fabulous. Uh, they've been here, Reggie Yates, the Red One DJ, they all come here. So, you know, it's, it's good to be here to be um, doing our stuff here and representing Blackamore here, you know, place of power and inspiration. Mm -hmm. mm. That's great. So when you walk out on the streets, yes. generally people say, I am what I wear. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people say, I wear what I am. Mm -hmm. Your clothing mm -hmm. is both. Yes. You're an empowered person, mm -hmm. and you're walking around saying, I'm empowered. Yes. And because you're wearing empowering clothing, mm -hmm. it helps to further your empowerment. Exactly. That's really great. Can you, can you broaden on that subject? Yes. You see a girl that you want on the street, you think, oh my God, she's too beautiful for me, or she's, you know, sometimes as guys, we get scared. But uh, we believe that if you're rocking our clothing, you know, you're intelligent, you give you that motivation and empowerment to remind you to say, oh, okay. Because sometimes they have to, so, you know, sometimes people, they read books. People sometimes they, get, they see movies to get inspired, mm -hmm. but for us, wearing clothes because you know y y y sometimes you can't, can't read a book, sometimes you can watch a movie when you need to be inspired. But just wearing the clothing, the, inspire, the, the, the inspiration is always there. There's always that reminder to say, okay, if you look at your clothes, say, oh my God, I'm intelligent. So let me go for that girl. Let me go for my dream. Anything that you want to go for, then you are pushed to go for it. That's true. Because sometimes when I leave the house, mm. uh, let's say I'm wearing a really sexy outfit, mm. I walk out and I'm like, oh, wow, I feel sexy today, right? Mm. And then other days I'm like, oh, I'm just kind of, you know, whatever. And yeah. I have a whatever outfit on. Mm. But if I were to throw on, like, you know, one of your jackets or one of your shirts, mm. I put it on, I see the logo, I'm like, oh, be empowerment coming from the source, having ideas, flowing. And then you can walk out and you could be like that all day. Exactly. Exactly. It's always there. That's so a really great you can't, idea. You can't, you can't go wrong. So tell me a little bit about Black Amore clothing. Our logo, like our tree, is um, it's a tree from, from, from the motherland. So what we are saying is this tree, like in the olden days, it used to give our ancestors like anything that they, that they asked for, uh, for uh, be it food, if they wanted a car, whatever, from, from the olden days, they could get it from there. So it was like the source of where everything came from. So the tree for us is like a symbol um, within each and everybody of us. You know, there is a source within where all the ideas come from. But sometimes people they ignore these ideas, you know, they don't work on them. But but they but they are given these ideas from from within. So we are saying when these ideas come, you know, you should work on them. If it's a uh, a dream that you want to follow, just do it. You know, since it has come, just follow it up. It means it's ripe. A lot of things that are out there are not about empowering people. You know, like um, in urban where people they do different stuff which is good, but there's nothing really to empower people. So Black and More is all about empowering people to say, okay, be who you are. Um, for these ideas that come from within the source, work on them and be intelligent. So not only when you're wearing the clothing are you walking around very stylish and you're looking really good, but you're also representing who you are as a person. Yes. You're saying, I'm full of ideas and I'm very powerful. Yes, because I mean, if you can see like for example the jumper that, that I'm wearing, you know, um, what's he saying? You see, the, it's, it's, it's like return intelligence consciousness like in, in a circle. Which, is, which, we, which we say is like a circle of life, mm -hmm. you know, everything in life, you know, it goes in, in a circle. But at the same time, you have to be steady, you have to be who you are. So this is the B, to be who you are. So, so it's like three dimensional. So B, intelligent consciousness, B, original, at the same time with the tree, the source, which is there. So that's what we are about. So tell me a little bit about your business ethics. Like, mm. how does that work for you as a person? Because mm. obviously your clothing represents something that's very strong and powerful. Mm. And, um, and do you have any sort of daily routine that you do in order to really get your company and your logo out there? In my house, like in front of my bed, there's a sign that I put for myself to say, what if I done for Black Amor today? So every day I sort of have to do something to feed the business, whether it can be a small step, or it can be a big step, 
but however big or small, I know those small th those small things will, will become big things. So I always do something, you know, be it posting stuff on on Facebook, um, telling friends about it. Because like when I'm walking down the street, sometimes people they ask me, "Hey, where did you get a jumper? Where did you get your, your jackets?" You know that kind of thing. And I tell them I make them. They're like, "What, really?" I said, "Oh, come on, please tell us where did you get them." And I said, "Yeah, really, I make them." You know, so I gave them um, my card. So all all those things. There's some of the things that, that I do. Tell me a little bit about your personal style. I was this kind of urban wear, street wear, with um, a, a message of intelligence, you know, empowering people, for people to be who they are and be what they want to be. So we always say be intelligent consciousness, be original, you know, so to be, to be who you truly are. That's our kind of message. How does your personal style differ from your clothing company style? Sometimes when I'm not um, going out with friends or anything, you know, I like to dress like smart casual, you know, something that projects um, confidence and, and, and power in a way. So that's kind of my personal style that I go for mo most of the times. Where do you find your inspiration? I was inspired by people like um, Damon John, you know, the football guy. Those were sort of um, guys who inspired me, you know, like how they began um, from zero, from nothing, because you know some guys, they are rich because their parents were rich before them, but these guys, you know, they had to hustle from the ground. So I kind of relate to them that way, that um, I had to hustle from nowhere, you know, get an idea, comes, work on it, make it grow, believe in myself, and that's how it all came to be. I said to myself, if I was working for Sean John, what sort of design would I make for him? And I was drawing that, I thought, ah, why, why am I thinking about some, somebody else? Why don't I do something that I can do for myself, you know, work for, my, for myself, you know, and take this to the higher level, um, even to compete with these guys, Sean John and the footballs of this world. So that's where everything came from. So that's sort of the journey of how it came to be. That's great. And really that comes from your clothing. Your clothing and that, and that idea are one within the other. Yes, yes. What we are about is empowering people. A everyone is intelligent and special in, the, in, the, in their own kind of way. We are saying, you know, be who you are, um, be different, be comfortable in being different. You know, don't, tell, don't let anybody um, bring you down or look, uh, or look down upon you or anything. Just feel comfortable. So if you're rocking our clothes, you'll be like, oh, like you say, reminded, you say, I'm intelligent in my own way, I'm, you know, so I'm cool. Good to go. I really like this one. Can I, uh, can I try it on really quick? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah, color of royalty, you know. Purple mm -hmm. is the color of, of, of power, color, color of royalty. Okay. So you are royalty, my dear. Oh, thank you. Yes. Some people call me a princess. Oh. <laughs>